Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new AI coder in town, and this one is called Lumi. Lumi is kind of changing the way you think about building apps with AI. Basically, what it does is let you create truly custom apps or websites from natural language. These apps are not just front-end. They come built in with database, authentication, analytics, and almost everything that you can think of. You don't need to mess with things like Supabase or anything either. You just prompt, and that's all you need to do. No rigid setup, no templates, just pure conversation. You sign up, you chat, and Lumi builds your project from scratch. But the best part is how it lets you go from idea to fully working app in seconds with features that feel way more advanced than what you get from most other AI builders. It's not just about generating a front-end page. It's about building something that actually works and looks good, with real back-end features. Now, let me show you how you can use it. And as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from the usual AI coding tools like Claude Code or Manny's. First of all, just head on over to lumi.new and you'll see this really sleek interface. At the top, you've got your main prompt box where you type what you want to build. But before I dive into the walkthrough, I want to highlight something that makes Lumi stand out. On the home page, you get these community generated stuff, like here's a hotel booking platform that actually works and super sleek and works, which is awesome because you can actually create working apps and share it quite quickly without messing around with things like Supabase API keys, authentication, and whatnot. This is really awesome. You can also remix these public generations as well. Remixing is kind of cool because you can fork any project and change anything you want just by chatting. No need to touch code at all. It's way more flexible than the usual generate and forget approach. Let's get into the main prompt box. You can type in what you want to build, but you've also got some handy options. There's attach file, so you can upload images or product requirement docs, and Lumi will use them to guide the build. You can clone a design or even work off an existing PRD, which is quite awesome. Then there's Enhance Prompt, which lets you take your basic prompt and have Lumi make it better. Super handy if you want to get more out of your requests. And if you have prompts you use all the time, you can save them in the Prompt Playbook. You just save your custom prompts, edit or delete them, and mark your favorites for quick access. It's a small thing, but it makes repetitive tasks way easier. Next up is the toolbox. Here, you pick what features you want in your app. For example, you can have Lumi manage your database, so you don't need to set up external stuff like Supabase. Just prompt it, and it spins up a database on Lumi's servers. There's also built-in authentication, so you can set up sign-in options exactly how you want. You get analytics to track visits, and page views, email service to send messages to your users, and file storage for secure cloud uploads. Pretty much everything you'd need for a real app. You just select what you want, and Lumi adds it in automatically. Then you've got styling, and this is another area where Lumi goes beyond most competitors. You can pick from pre-built style libraries like Swiss or Memphis, and your app instantly gets a modern look. It's optional, but it's nice if you want something that feels professional right out of the gate. Okay, let's demo how the core experience works. I'm going to ask Lumi to make me a movie tracker app. I just type that in, make me a movie tracker app, and send it over. Immediately, Lumi starts working. On the left, you have the chat interface, and on the right, there's a live preview and code viewer. You can see Lumi creating and editing files in real time. 
and within seconds, the app is ready. What's cool is that it's not just a static front end. It's a fully functional app with working features and a sleek, modern design. But here's where Lumi really shows its strength. You can tweak anything just by chatting. Let's say I want to change the color scheme or add a new feature for tracking watched movies. I just type my request or use the Select to Edit option to pick a specific element on the page, and Lumi updates it instantly. No need to dig into the code unless you want to. This zero coding, just conversation workflow is insanely good, and it's something I wish more builders did. Most other tools just let you generate a page, and that's it. But Lumi lets you iterate and refine, which is quite awesome. Let's make this demo more compelling. I'll ask Lumi to add a favorites panel and show a sample list of movies with ratings and genres. Instantly, it creates a panel with actual sample data, so you can see real back-end functionality, not just empty tables. This is something that sets Lumi apart. Many creators demo AI builders with blank pages, but here you get a real, usable back-end right away. Now, let's talk about the workspace. When you go to the Workspace tab, you see a dashboard with analytics overview, users, data, email service, file storage, and code. The analytics panel shows actual visit counts and page views, and the users panel lists everyone who signed up. Data tables display real sample entries, so you can see how your backend is structured. You can send emails to users, check uploaded files, and even edit the code directly if you want. It's all there, and it's super intuitive. If you want to deploy, there's a domains option where you set up your custom domain or buy one through Lumi. Security rules are easy to configure to keep user data safe. In settings, you can change the project name, and at the top, you get export to download your code and run it locally, or publish to instantly deploy it to your domain. You can also publish to the community or use a temporary domain for mockups. But now comes the best part, agent mode and discuss mode. Agent mode lets Lumi act as a coding agent, building and modifying your app as you chat. Discuss mode is for when you want to talk about the code, brainstorm, or plan before making changes. You can even use Discuss to understand the architecture or get advice on best practices, which is something I really liked. It's way more interactive than just generating code and hoping it works. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.